Hey guys, and welcome to my first Mark 39 Star Boost update. So as of now, I haven't actually made a whole lot of progress. I have the dome printed right now, the top of the head. I've started the process of sanding and priming it, but you can see I have a lot, a lot of layer lines left. That's because I printed it actually upside down like this, so all those supports did not make it look very good. So I'm using some wood filler actually to fill up those gaps, then sanding, priming, wood filler, sanding, priming, all over again. And I've got some scrapes, some little bumps and imperfections, so I'm thinking about switching over to some wet sanding eventually. Um, you guys tell me in the comments if you think that'll work. I'm very new to this. And this faceplate? Okay, he, he's kind of special. He's, he's kind of special, don't lie. Basically, this is the first thing I ever practiced finishing. So, I finished it, not the best, just put on the metallic gold because I didn't think that this would be the faceplate I'd have on my helmet. I thought I'd scaled it incorrectly, it's a long story, but I'm actually using it. So, I'm now sanding it all over again on top of the metallic gold and it looks pretty crappy right now. But it'll look better, I promise. It's in the works. And this is the jaw. I just printed it like this on the bed. Only used a little bit of supports here on the bottom. It looks kind of rough, but it'll be easy to, you know, clear up. Plus it'll be on the bottom, so not really gonna see it all that well. So it's not the end of the world if it doesn't look the best. And the last piece is the back piece. The second thing, yes, yeah, the second thing I finished. And I'm actually really proud of it. I mean, I know it's probably not the best compared to some very experienced people, but, you know, it's my second attempt. I think it's pretty good. I just used some painter tape to, you know, tape it off, and I actually used a box cutter, which be a little bulky, but I do not have an X-Acto knife, and it worked pretty well. You can only really see the mistakes if you look real close at it. From far away, you're not going to see anything. Okay, we're under the printers right now. I'm sorry. We we will get through this together, I promise. Okay, so this Rust-Oleum Metallic uh, Black is what I'm using for the, you know, the black of the helmet. And it looks pretty good. It's not, it's not shiny, necessarily. It's not glossy. It's just kind of, kind of matte, I think is the word for it. But it looks pretty good, in my opinion. Um, yeah. This one, you know, it's white spray paint. This is kind of cheap from Lowe's. It, kind of hurts to spray, drips a lot, but you know, you get what you pay for. It's, it is definitely the color white, and it is definitely spray paint. Uh, this one, Bristolium Metallic Gold, I think that's a pretty popular paint for Iron Man suits, and it works pretty good. Uh, not very good at, like, it definitely brings the layer lines out, but you know, if you can make it look okay, then it'll be good. Obviously, my faceplate didn't turn out that good, but I'm gonna improve it, and so this will look pretty good. And this one, some primer. Uh, I kind of stopped using this specific primer in favor of using some sandable primer. Let me get that. So this is some sandable filler primer. Um, definitely covers up a lot of those little mistakes a lot better, you know, than this. I mean, it's not meant for that. So I've been using this a lot since I'm not the best at covering every single layer line yet, so it, it really helps give some grace to you if you're a beginner. And obviously, you know, I'm a beginner. This isn't really a, hey, this is my method, and it's going to work for you because I'm very experienced at this, but because I'm not. This will just be an update series for your entertainment and maybe learning from my mistakes, and if I do a few things right, then there you go. So. Currently, I'm standing about 10 feet away from my printer, and my camera is zoomed in as much as humanly possible. Because literally, I try to record near them, and it, it is too loud. Like, you, you can't hear a single thing. So, this is so cursed. So, yeah, the neck is printing on the ender right now. The front piece of the neck, anyway. Uh, forgot to say, I'm pretty much at 90% because I'm very a very small person 
I'm a I'm a little person, so I need to print it a little smaller. And I'm gonna try to keep it all at 90% if I can. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it at the same scale. I don't want things looking wonky. I don't want you know the head being too big. But if it has to, it has to. I mean, you know, I'd rather be able to move or actually like fit my body into it than have it look exactly proportionally right, you know? But anyway, that was a tangent. So yeah, neck is printing. You can see I'm printing it just straight up, basically used less supports. I am like, I, I hate supports. I absolutely hate them. I will do basically anything to cut them out. Even if it's using the snug supports, which always freaking break off halfway through the print, I just keep doing it. I don't know why. I can't learn from my mistakes. I'm very stubborn, I guess. So, that's been my progress so far. And next video, I'll aim to have it all painted. Why not? I'm gonna regret that. And if anyone has advice for me, anything I'm doing wrong that I need to fix, any just extra things you wanna add, like please tell me in the comments if if anyone's gonna watch this. It's fine if no one is. I'm not aiming to have an audience, really. I'm just doing this for fun. But if you wanna watch and leave a comment, then that'd be super cool. Um, I definitely need the help, you know. So if you have any tips and tricks you wanna tell me, just feel free. All right, and I'll see you in my next video, where I will have a full Iron Man suit featuring a jetpack, heavy artillery, and a flamethrower.